Okay. Sure. Hi, everybody. Um, my friend James Deacon and I are uh, going live. We're just going to talk for... We're just going to talk. That's it. We're just going to talk. talk. We're going to talk for one hour. If you want, you can stay. If it's boring, then we apologize. We'll do better next time. This is... We live in a different time. Hold now. on. Someone says hand gestures equals sign of intelligence. Really? Someone said that. Can you tell them what I'm doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, James yeah, is like doing all stuff that with his hands. <laughs> um... We live in a different time now. Uh, when you, I don't know when you first started. I think it's accelerated a lot in the last three years. You started in 2016, right? Yes. April. April 8th, 2016. Yeah. Um, I don't know how bad it was then, but now we live in what they call a canceled culture. Does that ever freak you out? Mm. That all the body of work. I see you smiling in the way that you know. <laughs> all the body of work that you've done, all that you've achieved. <laughs> does it ever worry you that one? Bad tweet. You don't tweet, though. That's exactly why I don't tweet. Okay. <laughs> I one, don't tweet. Yeah. One bad Facebook post story, step on a landmine, LGBTQ landmine, um, Muslim, Christian, <laughs> y- and you, you've touched on those. You're one bad post away from cancel. Do you ever think like that? Or do you think, no, I, I build up equity with my audience? And So interesting. That's a great question. Cancel culture. Do, we, do you ever worry about cancel culture in which in which you make a video and all of a sudden people say, okay, you should get offline. You're a terrible person and you'll never be on it again. Uh, so two things. One, Bitcoin. Bitcoin and blockchain is amazing. Blockchain, blockchain, blockchain. Why is blockchain amazing? And what's it got to do with cancel culture? I'll tell you why. Because blockchain is is a distributed network. It's basically it's basically saying you don't have power in one bank. You have a million people and a million computers, and each one of them has equal power, right? Mm-hmm. That that's so. It's and once you have a million people that are that are that have power, you cannot kill all of them at the same time. But if you have a one centralized bank, you can like hijack the bank, and everybody's money is lost. So. This is exactly what Nasdaq is. It is equally distributed around the world in the sense that if I feel like if I make a mistake in one country about one topic, I think other countries, it, it, I don't think it'll translate to other mm. countries. So it is mm. impossible mm. for Nasdaq to die in every country. It's impossible. So let's say in the Philippines, I make a stupid mistake, which I wouldn't mean, obviously. I don't want to make stupid mistakes. Um, okay, you know, Filipinos now hate Nas Daily. But do you yeah. think Icelandic people will hate Nas Daily? Or do you think Americans will hate? They don't care, right? Yeah. So, so that's the beauty of being very distributed on Facebook. But the second thing is, uh, why I don't worry about cancel culture, is because of Trump. <laughs> Trump has, has figured out a way to um, to create so much mess that you cannot focus on one. And so like, if I make one mistake, if I talk, say one sensitive thing that you don't agree with, uh, and that's the only thing I do, then you'll remember me for that one stupid mm-hmm. video. But if I make 50 videos, each one of them equally sensitive, each one of them that could be a mistake, all of a sudden you'll say- You don't oh, know where to aim. Nas Daily is very brave. That's all. The only thing you'll remember is Nas Daily is very brave wow. and he's very honest, and so it, that's exact. So, so I talked a lot about Israel and Palestine, about politics, about religion, about Islam, about Philippine poverty, about anything. Right? I talk about all this shit, and cool. Nas Daily is just brave at this point. So I'm not too much worried about cancel culture. I think the only time where cancel culture might kill you is when it comes to like issues like murder or rape or oh, all that stuff. Dear. Why do we have a phone call? <laughs> There's a phone call, so I'm going to talk to you guys. Oh, hello. You just ordered my book. Thank you so much, AJ Ajax. Uh, Let's see if you're commenting on, on, on cancel culture. I'm so excited. You know, this is how, this is how excited I am. <laughs> I'm so excited that I forgot to close the front door, and security called up and said, Sir, your front door is open. <laughs> that is really funny.